Tony, thank you. Some new details now from the Target 12 investigators in the arrest of former Patriot star Malcolm Butler. We're learning more about Butler's DUI arrest in North Providence back in March. This after that charge was reduced to reckless driving this morning. Target 12 investigator Kate Wilkinson is here now with that newly obtained court documents and what they reveal. Kate? Target 12 has learned Malcolm Butler struggled to say the alphabet when he was arrested. Meantime, Butler's attorney said outside of court today that he's glad his client can move on. Is that correct? Yes. Former Patriots star Malcolm Butler now pleading no contest to reckless driving. Back in March, he was originally charged with driving under the influence after North Providence police found Butler behind the wheel of a Mercedes Benz that was parked in the middle of Mineral Spring Avenue. I ain't nothing going on, bro. I just was looking at what I was just showing. So you. Butler's attorney asked the charge be dropped or reduced, arguing Butler's rights were violated of court, attorney John Harwood said his client was pleased with the outcome. We brought some finality uh, to this matter. Uh, to say the least, he's uh, very uh, remorseful, but he's very thankful the way he was uh, treated, and uh, he's going to move forward with, the, with his life. But according to newly obtained documents, not only did Butler slur his words while speaking with police, he also struggled to say the alphabet. The police narrative saying Mr. Butler recited the alphabet, but began to stumble at letter S saying X then continued T-U-V, then H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O-P-Q-R-X-T-U-Z. It was apparent Mr. Butler had difficulty reciting the alphabet. Yet Roger Williams professor Andrew Horwitz argues that just because someone is struggling with the alphabet doesn't mean they're under the influence. And frankly, lots of people have learning disabilities that are not diagnosed. Um, and there are a variety of plausible explanations for that that do not include being under the influence. Harwood says they won't have any future court dates because the charge was reduced. New at 5, I'll have what the program director of Mothers Against Drunk Driving is saying about the reduced charge. Live with the Target 12 investigators, Kate Wilkinson, 12 News.